Hello. Hello. Maybe. Maybe it's not Fable's day. Maybe, yeah, it's not Fable's day. Hello, everyone. Yes, Fable is gone for quite a bit. He's been wanting to come down here, but he got stopped due to family troubles. Or family being... Dragging him out. Anyway, if you want to see more of him, watch more of these videos. Like more of these videos. Tell Fable how much you want him to come by here. Tell him how much you want to see him. And uh, yeah, this is a Bricky video. I originally didn't even know who Bricky was, I'll be completely honest. I was mostly watching other people to learn about lore for 40k. Until my viewers, like, introduced me to him. I still haven't watched really any of his videos, but... Eh, we might as well learn about Dark Tide from him. He seems to be a good source on the 40k fandom, so, uh, I won't be exactly be against that sort of thing. He's one of those people I just don't know anything about, in terms of a YouTuber. From what I've heard, he's an alright guy, but mm -hmm. he hangs out with VTubers. And we know all VTubers are slightly insane. No matter what kind of YouTuber they are, so we'll see how it goes. Hey, my name is Bricky, currently being lobotomized for the glory of the Imperium. Sounds about right. Oh no, they botched the surgery. Oh, so now you're a servitor. So my mind are floating away. Welcome. Yeah, that's a pretty normal thing for a servitor to say. God damn. Rejects to Atoma Prime. I am John Warhammer, and there is a possibility uh, that you have stumbled upon Dark. So he is the great John Warhammer that I've heard so much about because they made the John Halo. I thought, wow, this game looks fun, but I don't really understand what's going on here. What is this weird Bro. variant of zombies? Why does everything look like a cathedral? Why so much organ music? Who is the God Emperor? Nothing is Ugh. more fun. Oh as my God, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Mm. Of late, than playing this game with a group and getting to tell them all about every little aspect of oh. the title. I definitely get annoying when I do. So in order to preserve my I mean, friendships, I, I please can don't tell point to a video. Please don't let me friends, please. <laughs> I I like talking about Warhammer every once in a while. It's why we were watching If the Emperor Has a Texas Peace Device, which we will continue eventually. Just takes time. Also learn about World of Darkness. I still need to go over those videos. Video right here. And not only teach you about your place in the universe of Warhammer 40k, but also how to play Dark Tide. And luckily, mm. I can do so with the help of Dark Tide. This video is mm. sponsored by Warhammer Dark Tide. Damn. This is the brand I wish I got sponsored by a video game like this. From Fat Shark, creators of the esteemed Warhammer Bermintide games as well. And it I knew it. But yes, I already knew they created Bermintide, which makes this a perfect splinter off into for them. Because, yeah, they already did Bermintide, so this is just pretty much the next step, honestly. Is a delightful day when I, John Warhammer, can be sponsored by Mr. Warhammer themselves. Pretty much. Show you all how to be a fantastic servant of the Emperor oh and fight heresy in his holy name. Let but me see how you do, Bricky. You play anything you see on the screen right now. You can check out Dark Tide down there in the description and grab it for yourself. It is. Ooh. Nurgle's got me. It is excellent <laughs> because if you haven't played the game, Wonderful. the rest of the stuff here might go a little over your head. Unless you're just Mr. Warhammer. And if that's the case, then awesome. You, you're already yeah. more than prepared. But if not, do yeah. check it out in the description. It is excellent. It is a I, I would consider myself Mr. Warhammer every once in a while. Oh. Me and me and my lamenters. The Blood Angels. Who are basically vampire angels, but we'll get on to that point at another time. A lot of fun. Would recommend it. Am sponsored? Yeah. Still oh. fun? Yeah. Let's talk. For starters, okay. let's chat lore. Oh, god damn it. Number <laughs> 40,000 is a sci fi and Too fantasy bad hybrid wasn't here for taking that. place in the 41st millennium. In this world, yeah. hell is real and is a genuine threat to civilization. Humanity oh. was once led by a 10 foot yeah. tall godlike being known He's as over the 10 foot tall, but yeah. of mankind. And through his strength and genius, led humanity across the stars to conquer a million, yes, a genuine, non-hyperbolic 
million colonized planets. 10,000 years ago, nine of his 18 sons led a rebellion that despite eventually yeah. failing, left him a shattered and dying corpse atop a golden throne. Yeah. To be fed 1,000 souls of humans a day in order to survive. In those 10,000 years, humanity's main governing body, the Imperium of Man, have taken him yeah. up as a martyr and have slowly degraded into a religious fascist state. To be a part Pretty of much. the Imperium is to know untold violence and war for a better part of your life. The Emperor, the God Emperor, is the only true divine being in the galaxy and you will serve him and his imperium until your dying breath in which you will then be transferred into corpse starch to be fed to other people in the pretty much it's Ooh. very depressing but i do like the glints of hopes in it so world of warhammer there is no greater gift to mankind than to die in the emperor's service if you truly yeah. want a good picture of what it's like to live in the imperium just read the loading screens yeah, each of them is cleanse the mutant point burn the heretic Here purge the xeno which yeah xenos are aliens for some they don't know planet we have a toma prime and its major hive city tertium tertium is a city that holds billions of people and it's basically yep. if new york city was multiplied 10 times over and stretched into atmosphere that is what a hive city is and hell has gotten loose in tertium and one of hell's yeah. four major gods the chaos gods has sought to infect it for their own game this chaos Nurgle. god is Nurgle, god of Oof. pestilence disease decay and Death. Nurgle Ugh. has protected this place from the lowest dredges of the working class all the way up to the spires of the rich and powerful. Now, normally, like any good imperial citizen would, we would bomb it from orbit. But Tertium yeah. has many strategic assets that make it worth taking back. Problem? is we don't have the manpower to do it with our traditional soldiers and that's where you come in you are one mm. of four separate classes prepared to be executed for some discretion to the imperium lack of faith in the emperor insubordination dereliction of duty or maybe just looking the wrong way at a higher up these yeah. all carry punishment of death but what greater pleasure is there than to die in the emperor's service so out of the holding basically you're a penal battalion is what i'm getting from this which you can kind of tell no, Ooh. I, mm, I honestly, penal battalions aren't something I'm well versed in in 40k, so I honestly don't know much about them to begin with. Thing cell you go and into tertium you arise to kill the servants of the plague god and to redeem yourself mm -hmm. in the god emperor's holy light first you must pick your reject you have four total options with each of them having a variety of play styles first oh. and foremost we have the veteran a veteran soldier of the imperium's main fighting force the imperial guard guardsmen yeah. are hardened soldiers strong in faith but stronger in martial prowess typical imperial guard True. battles use guardsmen as fodder in order to soak up the enemy's big guns to allow them to be blasted with tanks artillery and aircraft you True. are a veteran in an army with a 90 percent mortality rate yeah always fear the veteran in places where young men die quickly or fast on their first deployment fear the old in a profession where men die young exactly the veteran will operate as your standard just kind of range damage specialist you gain bonuses to headshot damage have extra ammo and can utilize your main ability to highlight special enemies and do extra damage against them every class nice. has a primary weapon a melee weapon and a grenade that is specific to each class your grenade as a mm. veteran is a grenade but you see no. nobody else has that type of grenade so in a horde shooter being able to chuck mr bombastic is, is a lot more helpful oh. than you realize you weren't the i only play the veteran so i didn't know about the other classes i was playing to do them at another time but then the beta ended Fastest of the classes, and your stamina is a bit low, but Dark Tide is a 50 50 range oh. and melee game that sways depending on the class you play. The veteran is saying, Good luck getting me to use my shovel. The zealot is the horse girl of the 41st millennium. When what? you take faith in the emperor and make it your uh. whole personality, hoes be asking for men over six feet, but skipping on the number of heretics set aflame. You don't <laughs> know when to shut the fuck up about the emperor, which one would <laughs> think ever shutting up about the emperor is a bad thing, but even the most devout 
about Christians don't get on their knees and praise Jesus when McDonald's ice cream machine was working. The Zealot is simply built different. Yeah, the Zealot is completely insane in a way, in their unwavering faith. All will unfold as the beneficent emperor wills. The emperor demands you die on the golden throne. The only true god. The Zealot has oh. high stamina, but the same relative health as everyone else. However, you also wow. have a meter called toughness. Think of toughness sort of like a shield before you take actual health damage that is regenerated by being near your other teammates stacking higher per person. You know what oh. else regenerates your toughness? Glorious melee combat. You oh. know who generates even more toughness in combat? The Zealot. The Zealot. You push towards the melee side of that 50-50 split and decide the best way to deal with a heretic is to run at them yeah, screaming cut them in at the top of your lungs and introduce their face to your blade or chainsaw or hammer. You have large uh. grenades, great for crippling hordes, and overall just excel in melee combat, mm. sometimes even getting benefits for being low on health. Because martyrdom is a blessing. Because what yes. greater gift do we have than to die in the Emperor's service? Health is a social concept to the Zealots. You are run oh. into battle with 1 HP, completely regenerating toughness to make you an un- Killable God, while god simultaneously damn. murdering everything in your path. Now, nice. I you already, hell is real. But one might ask, can you utilize hell for your own gain? Well, the unfortunate psychers don't get a choice. A psyker is a yeah. Though, let's hear him go more into psychers. Psyker, being a psyker kind of sucks special mutation of humanity that allows them to reach into hell or in this case hell is known as the warp to allow warp. for special powers the problem is that reaching into hell means hell can reach, reach back. back and the more yeah. you push yourself the more you reach into the warp the more problems you're going to have also since you're a mutant you and the zealot are just the best of friends yeah I see how you all regard me as if i'm something inhuman well I'm glad to be so. Uh. Harmony. He renounced the God Emperor's light. I yeah. See to the freak. You don't know you're touching me. <laughs> <laughs> The Psyker <laughs> is your classic mage-style character. Rather weak in terms of stamina and health, but absolutely loaded in terms of damage. What keeps you in check damage-wise isn't ammunition or stamina, however. It's your peril meter. The perils uh. of the warp come in many ways, and the higher that percentage becomes, the more problematic it'll become for you. Uh, what then you, you can just explode. This is all Which is something that can't happen to a Psyker. They can just sometimes explode. Usually a demon comes out, but yeah of psychic powers the main one is just popping heads of enemies which does extreme damage but chain lightning warp oh. flame just aoe explosions you name it the psyker has it your only downside yeah. is your personality oh, many the and finally <laughs> yeah they have to deal with that every day this is gonna be on dark tech and how lore accurate the game is ah nice to know it's always good to know he goes more into the lore, but yeah, psychers have it kind of rough. If you just don't want to think, not because oh. you want life to be easy, but because you genuinely ah. don't know how to think. Oh. Well, oh. ogres may be for you. Ogrens are enormous oh. ab humans that trade any possibility of intelligence for pure muscle in the pretty lore, much the ogren you play as has a special chip installed to drastically increase his intelligence so you're currently oh. playing the smart one this is uh, this pretty much he's closer to a bonehead honestly which is a leader of an ogren group that can count to 10. life as ogren is simple you no. big man Little ones, small, need protecting. You do that, uh, and then you break angry smaller ones upon your car lifting muscles. You specialize yeah. in tanking damage and crowd control. You do plenty of damage with he your is own a bonehead. Ah. range, but one would say that isn't your focal point. That you can makes use sense. these gigantic shields to tank damage, grenade launchers to deal with hordes, or better yet, just use your girth. Most ogrens barely even have infant level intelligence. One of the yeah. most famous Ogrens of all time was able to count to the number four without an intelligence yeah, chip. Nope. You may be smarter, <laughs> but 
don't think too hard. This is why. Yeah. It's canon for ogre names to almost never be more than one syllable. You get powerful titles like thud, oof, grud, bang, tug, yeah. fork, girth, so on. Story time. Someone goes up to the ogren, right? Says, all yeah. right, big fella, here's your weapons, right? You got your club, you got yourself your big old gun. And here is this is called a box of grenades. You take <laughs> these and you throw them at the enemy. The ogren thinks, <laughs> take these. Throw them at enemy. Got it. <laughs> your your grenade <laughs> is throwing a box of grenades that is not primed. And you I love that. I didn't realize it was a box of grenades. I thought it was just a box. You so <laughs> That's, that's wonderful. Dear God, I love Ogrins sometimes. They are truly great. They are wonderful. Do damage with direct impact. Ogrin. <laughs> class, you can then pick a background and customize them. At the moment, there isn't a ton of changes that go into where you come from or your story, but they are neat little lore, including tidbits and stuff. The character mm -hmm. creator is next. You can make them look however you like. Again, this is all just cosmetic yeah. for you. The actual face you can change in the in-game doctor whenever you feel like it. The number one most important thing you need to care about is your character's voice lines. This uh. is not changeable after character creation at the moment and is a massive part of the game. Unlike Vermintide that had specific characters, each class has three voice lines oh. per body type. If you pick a masculine or feminine oh. body type, you'll get three things. different voice types with six different actors depending. Okay. Except if you're an Ogrim who has one body type. <laughs> Thick. In Dark Time, <laughs> despite each character being custom with their own appearance and name, the voice <laughs> lines practically operate as your character's personality. There yeah. is also a guardsman voice pack that can only be accessed if your homeworld is Cadium, which also allows you the special purple eye color too. So keep cool. in mind that if you want to use that. The variety in these voice lines is quite high and will really help show the kind of character you're creating. Personally, I judge voice packs entirely on what they say when you activate their special abilities. For yeah. example, the veteran have three, the professional, professional, cutthroat, and loose cannon. Professional is your tried and true strong guardsman. He's a career soldier and generally likable. So his ability voice lines are all pretty standard stuff. Yeah. The cutthroat guardsman was born on Cadia, which, uh, um... Yeah. <laughs> he's not very happy about his home planet being gone, and he shows it. I can God damn. Finally, is a fun one, complete with a ton of various mildly comedic voice lines. I personally find the professional my favorite, as it's not bad playing the everyman every so often, but I hear yeah. the loose cannon in games sometimes, and I think, damn, there's some good voice lines. So many. Why you all so Magic, big man. Lots and lots of magic. <laughs> <laughs> the other characters. The Zealot has various levels of, of piety. The psychers are all over the place, including an insane German man or a person who thinks the emperor is their boyfriend and what? other crazy shenanigans. You are there, aren't you, beloved? It's ever so hard to hear your voice. And the old <laughs> is his boyfriend what the hell is going on with that psyker actually i shouldn't say they're a psyker they're already going insane from the warp nonsense going on around them the ogren i can't oh. hear nothing funny <laughs> slavic ogren angry mad orc ogren or the physical incarnation of eight xenos eight chaos love me emperor simple ass not sure <laughs> when this is all finally done and complete, you may hop into your game, travel around the Morning Star, see all the world, and realize that devotion to the Emperor can even be present through the architecture of starships. When you get to the yeah. hall map in the center of the table, you have multiple missions with five separate difficulty pips. Don't even think about doing anything above level two. When I was level 10 out of 30 on my character, I was still mainly only doing level twos with the occasional three. So start ah. with ones. You will want to familiar 
familiarize yourself with the game as much as you can without too much pain. Each mission will have a rough difficulty time frame of between 15 to 30 minutes depending on difficulty. The main objective is to move from one point to the other and do anything and everything the sassy tech priest tells you to do. I Pretty much. I have confidence in you. Was that convincing? I can never tell. <laughs> oh my the God. Mission, you will do a combination of killing enemies, looting for supplies, looking for currencies, and objectives such as holdout points, aspect scans, objective delivery, and more. When it comes to enemies, Norgal has certainly blessed quite a few of them, and there uh. are a shockingly high volume of enemy types. You have regular Chaos Cultists and Pox Walkers that make up uh. fodder enemies, with armored soldiers being tougher and harder hitting. You also have Chaos Guardsmen equipped with ranged weaponry that can suppress you and do a staggeringly high amount of damage if left unchecked. But the yeah. specials you need to look out for the most. You've got maulers, ragers, volley gunners, shotgunners, tox flamers, mutants, pox bursted bombers, snipers, trappers, bloodhounds, crushers, bulwarks, and creepers for Mass Effect. Yeah, oh. there's a lot to deal with. Honestly, most of these you'll figure out on your own when you see them, and the only specialized way to deal with some are when you get to the higher levels. Don't let the sniper shoot you, don't let maulers hit you, and don't yeah. let dogs pin you. It's pretty self-explanatory, and with practice, you'll find a way to deal with all of them. If I pretty have much, any yeah. like, real true advice to give to new players, it's to stick as a team. Not only is it advantageous from a people who go alone die point of view, but it's also advantageous from a genuine game mechanic point of view your yeah, toughness, toughness regenerates faster when you are with your team and that affects stats with more players staying as a team is smart from a coordination and mechanical point of view there's even a little bit blip pip boy down in the bottom left hand corner oh. that shows who is in coherency not to mention there are often feats and abilities you get that assist your teammates in coherency so stick okay. together move as a team play as a team because if you move alone you die alone you'll find things around the map to help you survive often ammo being the main one the rule of thumb is that the veteran should have priority ammo wise than the ogren zealot and finally psycho though the ogren and the zealot can kind of flip flop depending on whether the ogre oh. built for melee or the zealot brought a flamer the veteran should get ammo priority and then you can pick between the two depending on what weapons they brought. So right. stop stealing my fucking ammo. If you want me to yeah. a sniper looking to give you a haircut, maybe don't hog the ammo for your fucking machine pistol, zealot. Did you just take the fragging ammo again? It was mine. Other than range <laughs> ammo, you will mine, find mid-packs okay. and ammo crates. These will be dropped when you want them and then can refill both you and your teammates' ammo or health back to full. Health will go until that little purple bar. What is that purple bar? Well, you say oh. Norgo might be convincing with that award-winning smile, uh, but some people don't get convinced easily, so they need to be corrupted. This is your corruption meter. The purple will never be healed when you are healed. The only way to get rid of this is to find the healing stations known as medical servitors. In uh. the realm of 40k, artificial intelligence is considered one of the largest forms of heresy. Have you ever noticed yep. that when you put down a data interrogator, it has a little human skull in it? That's because it is a human skull with a human yeah. brain in it acting as a computer. Gather around, children. Gather around. Papa Bricky is going to tell you about how he makes servitors in the Imperium. A oh, dear God. Is generally a criminal you don't. has been lobotomized, dissected, dismembered, Sometimes. and put together in Not a robotic form to serve as a slave for the wider Imperium. There is a high chance that if you, reject, were not executed for your crimes, you would have suffered this fate. Sometimes uh. the lobotomies are successful. Sometimes, in rare cases, there is an issue of relapse. Oh. Oh dear. So yeah, I'm just gonna walk really far away yeah. from that concept. Just. That man gaining self-awareness again. If I don't think about it, the, the pain, yeah. pain won't arrive, you know? Smile. But this servitor will fully heal you and all your corruption. However, do nice. watch for the flashing lights below him. This tells you how many charges it has. On ah. harder difficulties, this will have fewer and fewer, so make sure you don't rush to it and use it instantly. Save the charges for the right people. Other than that, you can just look for materials such as mm -hmm. plasteel, but that's just if you feel like doing a little bit more exploring. Once you finish the mission and extract, you'll be rewarded with xp and currency with experience nice. comes feats these are basically like perks that you get every five levels and you get three to choose from and can be swapped out whenever you're not in a mission but what do you do like outside of a mission well people often forget that the imperium runs on faith but not faith alone they also run on 
murder money heading over yeah. to the servitor in charge of arms here you can get more weapons and gear like curios passive trinkets or mm -hmm. other things that have ratings and rarities rarities that you can enhance or forge with a tech priest at a higher level as well the higher your level the more feats you get the more curio slots you unlock and the more weapons you have access ah. to a veteran may just start with a las gum and auto rifle for their ranged weapons but with yeah. time you might get other variants styles Ooh. of last gun or even bigger chunkier things oh like we kind of knew that the hot 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 plasma gun and from there you're off to the races my friend with levels mm. comes upgrades with upgrades comes weapons with weapons comes contracts and with contracts comes the more money again yeah and so on oh wait i forgot something if you ever hear whispering like a lot of whispering just standing still and whispering that's Go not good shoot them it's an enemy of the imperium right it would be wrong of you not to kill it do it oh that's a demon host shoot them do it shoot them wake them up now kill them now oh my god and that, my friends, is how you play Dark Tide. Despite the tutorial and Psychonum, I think it can be a little bit overwhelming for people who don't have a ton of experience in either this game genre or the Warhammer 40 first millennium world final statement the psychonum does have something called the meat grinder if you ever oh. want to test out your character's voice lines weapon damage or enemy interactions i really love dark tide so far i really appreciate them sponsoring this video i would pick it up i know i'm sponsored i don't care it's great mm -hmm. i do recommend it. it is in the description i would give it a look i will be seeing you uh. again in only a couple more days Ooh. for another video on this game so stay tuned are you going to the warhammer open in vegas and if you are could you sign my bricky oh, waifu there's... cup uh, i will be i will be going to the lvo that was in, in uh, vegas, vegas? So, uh, wow that's interesting if you have your cup huh. i will be there obviously you have your audible recommendation for books and podcasts do you have any music artists yeah. or album recommendations kind of um, crazy i've actually just been getting really into rob zombie lately so i guess did you say zombie, freaking but nerds that's not like something underground if that's what you were hoping for oh i do no. like poor man's poison Names. Hey, Bricky, what is one mm. thing that was suggested to you by someone that you were sure you were going to dislike, which you instead ended up really enjoying in the end? I maybe didn't really heavily enjoy it, uh, but the Danganronpa games. Oh, I hate yeah. visual novels. I don't like anime. And I hate, like, teenagers. You hang out with VTubers, what? Especially in anime. And yet, Danganronpa was a really solid series. I think... I mainly blame that on the villain being incredible, but uh, I was a little bit shocked. It's not my favorite thing or all, at all, but mm. you know, it, I went from really low to surprisingly enjoyable. All right, that's mm. it, everyone. I will see you in under a week, I think, for another Dark Tide video. Oh, I didn't realize he didn't like anime. Well, that's a new thing about Bricky. But yeah, he, yeah. Had, he had some really good information for that. Might check out more of his videos, but that's only if you guys want them in the future. So tell us down below if you'd like that. Give us a like. A lot of views definitely tells us that you like us reacting to his videos. And yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. I said those words already. But I'll see you guys all later. Bye-bye.